Hey guys, it's Bub here. In this video, we're taking a look at the tiniest version of Windows 11 ever. If you remember a few months ago, we took a look at Tiny 10, which was NT Dev's version of the tiniest version of Windows 10. In this video, we're taking a look at this person's version, Kiel Kappa, I have no clue how to pronounce it, their version of the tiniest Windows operating system. This is Windows 11, like I said earlier, and this is supposedly supposed to run on 512 and 256 megabytes of RAM. This is the YouTube video and their YouTube channel if you want to take a look at it. Their subscriber count is hidden for some reason, but this is the upload where they showcase their version of Windows 11. Here is the download link as well if you want to go ahead and download that. So, without any further ado, let's boot up the virtual machine, boot in the ISO, and see what we can do. Alright, and here we are in the installation screen, and I feel like I've seen this before um, on another on a custom Windows 11 ISO that we've seen before. It does say copyright 2021, the world of PC, which is not this developer's name, but but I think we've seen this, I think it was Nexus Light OS 11, um, but the image is by Neil Kalpa, however you say it. Um, Windows 11 Pro, of course, we're installing this. So I'm going to go ahead and just install on this partition, and then we'll restart into the operating system. I'll get VMware tools installed, and we'll be good to go. The first thing that happened once I booted into the system is it asked me to change the administrator password. There was no out-of-box experience, so I went ahead and set up a password. But here we are on the login screen. And the first thing I noticed is that I really, really like this background. I have no clue why, but I'm going to have to find it and set it on my main computer. This login screen background is just perfect. I like it a lot. One thing that's weird is you notice it went through all that preparing and starting services. That is really weird. That is something I've only ever seen on Windows Server and not actually on a Windows desktop operating system. But okay, first impressions, this wallpaper has to go. Uh, this is not even like acceptable. I just don't even make a custom ISO if you're gonna set this as your background. That is horrible. Next up, the default desktop icons. We have this PC, recycle bin, and YouTube channel. Right clicking on this PC brings up the old menu but everything else does not. Okay. Take a look at the default things on the taskbar. There's literally the start menu, search, and the desktop, or the uh, task view. And then, of course, we have our standard tray applications, calendar, controllers, ET, that kind of stuff over here. By default, in pinned, all we have is settings and file explorer. And in terms of actually installing stuff on the OS, File Explorer, Get Started, Settings, Ease of Access, and Windows Tools. That is it. And you'll notice that all the animations are disabled, um, which obviously makes it capable of running on 256 megabytes of RAM. So, taking up, this takes up approximately 6 gigabytes of space, which really is not a lot compared to what Windows 11 actually takes up. So, going just through, um, for some reason the internet is not connected. I do have VMware tools and the network adapter connected properly, so I don't know why there's no internet. Um, but I would assume that Windows Update is disabled because that takes up space. Um, going into system and about, this does show up as Windows 10 Enterprise Multi Session. Okay. I thought this was supposed to be Windows 11. Um. Windows 11, Windows 10 Enterprise Multi-Session. So that must be why it's showing up as like preparing your services when we sign in. But that's, but it says Windows 10 and this is Windows 11. Um, does that mean if we go to restart, it's asking you why you want to restart this computer? What? So this really is an Enterprise Multi-Session version that has somehow been upgraded to Windows 11, but it says Windows 10. What? Um, okay. That is a little weird. Um, let's just take a look at his YouTube channel. Um, it does go to his YouTube channel, just double checking that. And... Uh, okay. Is it... Is there no... There's no web browser installed. So... How did he expect us to open their YouTube channel if there's no web browser installed? And there's not even internet on the VM, which could very well be a, an issue of mine, 
but I don't think it is. I genuinely think that I have all of the drivers set up properly. Um, there is paint installed, which is the Windows XP paint. I saw that from the icon. Um, wow, I've not seen this paint in forever. This is a really old version of paint, like from Windows. It doesn't even say, it just says Windows 11. But this, this looks like XP paint. What? Why? Why is there X? Why is paint even a necessary thing? So this does appear to be Windows 11, but it shows up as Windows 10 in like the about menu for some reason. I don't really know why. That is super weird. Uh, Multi-session, no clue why that's there either. Um, that just means that we can like remote into it and have multi multiple sessions enabled if i was to rdp into this machine as administrator and then have another rdp session as administrator too that's how that would work but that is really weird why is that set up like that i have no clue i mean i'm intrigued i'm i honestly want to know more about how this is set up and why this works but um yeah so this was windows 11 or i'm going to start calling this tiny 11 because it only takes up roughly six gigabytes of hard drive space which, when you think about it, like I said, compared to Windows 11, is not that much. So, with that being said, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to subscribe if you're new around here, as I do all kinds of different technology videos, including device restorations. Let me know in the comments below if you've actually installed this on a physical machine, or if you'd like me to install it on a physical machine, because I do have a few one. I have a few machines that are really old. We could actually try this on a Pentium 4. With that being said, I'll see you all in the next one.